Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at an actual truck. This is an HG truck that you can use with your Kyokai Senki Amaim kits so you can have them riding in the truck. And that's pretty much it, but it should be really cool and very useful for maybe some other diorama making or something. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so taking a look at the box art there, of course, it's got the featured truck right front and center. And in the background, you can see the Kenbu with its new weapon that you also have included with this set. The box art on here looks very nicely painted. It's just got some weathering and some other kind of like lighting effects and stuff going on on the truck. It does look very cool. On the side of the box, just the same thing. And again, a reminder that the vehicle models in this line are not numbered over here on the side like the rest of the model kits. On the bottom of the box, we got a look at the front and rear of the truck, what it looks like when it's all built and painted up. Here's some details about the features of it, how you can connect multiple trailers together, how you can, of course, carry your Melee's mechas from the series. The other HG kits will fit into there. And again, a little look at the superheated vibrating combat claws, a new weapon that is included here for the Kembu. Around here on the top of the box, just a series lineup showing some other kits out in the line, a little introduction there to the story. And we can go ahead and pop open the box inside here. Obviously, it's going to be probably not that many pieces, a few pieces, but large pieces just to make up kind of the main sections of the truck itself and the trailer. Here on the instruction menu, we got the same box right there at the top, a little introduction and then some illustrations of the truck down here with some more information in Japanese and in English. Around here on the back, again, just the same kind of detail shots of, that we saw on the outside of the box, but just showing it with a couple other different kits there, the Kembu and the Jogen. There is some more information right there, and then our color guide down there at the bottom, again, both in Japanese and in English. Around on the inside, we have our parts list right there, and the rest of the manual just going through the construction here. On our last couple of color pages here, just show how to fold up the Kembu in order to store it in the back. And then just kind of showing some of the features about how to connect a second trailer, how to connect with more stuff basically. Here's a look at the foil stickers we have included for the kit. There's mostly just stuff for lights around on the outside. Runner A here gonna have some of those large dark gray pieces for the outside and then some light blue clear parts for the lights and the windshield. Runner B1 here, just these two big parts for the trailer. Here's a close up look at some of that detail which is gonna look really nice when that's all painted up. Runner B2, just a few more parts on there but again really large size pieces. Runner C1, some more big size pieces on this dark gray runner. And then runner D1 is some wheels and a couple other parts on there. We've got two of this runner, well, D1 and D2. And here, runners H1 and H2 are going to be your new parts for the new weapon for the Kembu. And alright guys, here is the ASC, how it's all put together. And obviously the main kit, just going to be pretty basic here. Uh, just the truck. It does come with a couple of very cool accessories in there. And really the cool thing about this is going to be how you can use this together with one of the melee kits that you can put them up there in the truck or building this into some sort of diorama or something like that will be the best way to bring out the potential of this kit. But let's go ahead and check out the details. The truck is basically made up of two sections, the front and the back half, and those can be disattached very easily. So on the front half here, you got these red stickers right there on the back for the taillights, and you got some stickers up underneath these clear parts there on the front. This protective shield here on the front can also be moved up and down like that. You've got a sticker underneath the clear part right there as well, which looks really nice. Otherwise, that does catch the light pretty nicely there in the front. And if you take off the top, you can see you have some like seating here in the back and then also three chairs right there in the front. Now this is in 170 second scale and it looks probably about right as far as the scaling of it anyway, it does look correct. The other cool thing is up underneath the truck bar here, when the wheels turn, they actually turn together so you can adjust the angle of those front wheels as well, which is pretty cool. And for the back half, you've got stickers here for these lights around on the front and stickers around here on the back, there, there, and there. To open up the side of it, you fold this part down and this part on the side just pops out and slides down there like that. And then you've got to open, you can see there's a lot of great detail up inside of there. And you can drop down the door on uh, both sides of this, so you can pop this open on the other side as well. To look like that, if you wanted to have both sides open, that's how that's going to look. Now if you wanted to carry two trailers, you've got this piece here which you can use for attaching onto the back here like that and then you could add a second trailer on there and then you could just keep going and going and going ultimately because every one of these kits that you buy you'll have this connector piece so you could keep connecting them onto there. Obviously here between the front and back half there's going to be 
enough movement to move all the way to the side like that. Our other accessory is going to be the super heated vibrating combat claws, which is a weapon basically made for the HG Kembu, which I don't have on hand, but we'll try this here with the Jogen. This is basically going to replace the middle part of the arm here like this. There you can see how that's going to look. So these claw parts fold up when not in use, so they just fold down like this when you want to have them in some sort of action pose. If you fold up the Jogen like so, or any of the melee skits, you can put them in the back of the truck. They'll fit into there just like so for transport and it looks pretty cool. So there you have it guys, not really too much else to talk about with this kit. It's pretty basic of course, but like I said, the really cool thing about this is using it in combination with other kits. So aside from the uh, other Kyokai Senki melee kits that you can use with this, I'll go show you a couple examples using some other different kits just so you guys can get some ideas because I will probably ultimately end up using this with something else just because I think it could also be pretty cool with any number of other different kind of mecha models. I think it could be pretty awesome. So whether you're interested in getting just the ASC model here by itself and just kind of painting it up just as a nice just model on its own or planning on using it with other different kits or building it into some sort of diorama, I think it's a pretty cool kit. While it is pretty basic, there is a good amount of detail on there, so there's definitely enough there to make it look pretty realistic. Let me know your guys' thoughts on this kit down in the comment section below. What do you think of it? Is this something that you're planning on getting or something that you've already got by now? Of course, if you are looking for some of the HG Kyokai Senki kits, we've got them here at the USA Gundam Store. The link and coupon code for you guys to use will be down in the video description below, so you can check that out if you're interested in picking up some of these. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you want to like or subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, just hope you're all having a great day. See you guys later. Bye-bye.